just we'll start with Dwayne. Just kind of walk us through the emotions of tonight. Obviously, a huge win. You guys last time playing here in the American First Event Center for a regular season game. Just kind of walk us through it. Uh, if I'm being honest, man, it didn't hit me until I walked out. And I kind of realized that like, it was the last time playing in the AFAC. And it hit me even more during uh, play introductions. And I just wanted to come out here and just have a good game. You know, just leave a lasting impression on the people and the fans and the students. I mean, might as well just go down the line. Cam, can you talk about your experience here and how, what it meant to you to play your last game here? Uh, it's been a great experience. I mean, my brothers right here, they made it what it is. They made it fun. They made it like when I've been on the road. It would have been. <laughs> and just the fans, the coaches, from everybody down the line. I mean, they just made it a great experience. I've been training for them. Andre? Uh, like I said, it's a bittersweet moment. You know, I'm excited for what's ahead. You know, I'm about to win this, but. You know, like you said, these are my brothers, you know, I got other brothers talking to me too, but just made an experience that was, that's unforgivable, you know. You know got, we had a lot of fun times this year, you know. I'm just blessed to be able to be a part of this team and have done this well. Like Mo said, it didn't hit me like that, like, God damn, you know, to see everybody. You know, this is an emotional night. Like, we talked about playing with each other. And it just meant a lot to be on the call with these guys. So, you know, like two brothers that I never had on the this was a special night for us. Absolutely. I mean, all four of you guys are transfers. Um, this is not your first school. Uh, can you talk about coming together, getting a second chance here at SU, what that's meant to you guys? Uh, we, we talked about this in the beginning of the year. When we first got here, like, we were all meant to be here for a reason. You know, and like, that's one of the things that, uh, that we kind of said throughout the year. You know, like, we were all in this building, we all on that court, we all got here. that over the course of the year, you know, we learned a lot about each other, you know, we love each other, and, you know, so it's just a good experience to be here. Picking you back up, Dre said, I think that's what made our bond is that's that special, because we all came from bigger programs at SU, you know what I'm saying? So we had some of the same similar experiences, whether good or bad, and we just felt as though it's not a coincidence that we all ended up playing for SU. So with that being said, we just want to finish this young strong. So that made me sound the biggest one. Yeah, do you guys think that you're going to end up in Sierra and finish here? No, no, I'll be honest, no. <laughs> I didn't know what this was until I didn't know what Cedar was until two years ago. Yeah, can you talk about how that bond is formed? You guys have been through losing seasons when you first got here, sitting out, all that stuff. So. All of that. Practice, um, at home, just chilling during uh, basketball games, even little small team arguments, all of that builds into creating a cohesive group. And most of the groups that don't have any bickering or have any problems amongst the team aren't usually really connected. Because when you're connected like that, you're going to fight. That's what families do. There's nothing that happen in the family. So I think that's what really made us tight. We're not afraid to call each other out. You know, it is what it is. What are some of the biggest lessons that you've learned over the first time? Just to have patience. Just to know six might work out as one of them. I learned was just uh, being able to learn from my other teammates. You know, there's a lot of things that I didn't know as a like, like someone off the court and on the court. You know, these guys have taught me a lot, especially the demo. You know, we sat down and had plenty of talks at night, long talks just about whatever. You know, and just to be able to sit there and learn, learn things from my from my brothers. You know, that's a, that's a great feeling. Like I say, from what I learned from this group alone, at a personal level, is just to keep going. When things aren't going good for you, just to keep that laser focus, that laser, that, that sniper mentality, just to keep moving forward. You know, uh, like an example, our season, you know, we got ups and downs. But our thing is laser focus and focus on the finish line. And I think I learned that with these guys because they tell you, I'm the first to get in my own head. And they the first to be like, yo, we're good. We're good. We got your back and stuff like that. And I think when people realize that people around you are here to help you rather than just compete with you, you know, it's a time for everything. I think people buy into, you know, building friendships with college. Because once college is over, this will be the last time you build real bonds with people. Because after now, after college, it's like a job. So not, nobody wants to make friends. Nobody wants to be your brother like that. So I feel like this is the last time you really get a chance to build a bond.
can you talk about maybe 10 years from now, when you think of SUU, when you think of your experience here, what feelings will come to your mind? Things you'll remember oh, most? Man. Uh, I honestly want, I want to pull up 10 years from now. See, Simon's still here, the AFAC 4 every day, every day. And, and I was thinking of every summer, you know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. Right. 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 Thanks, guys. Thanks. A statement about tonight's contest. We'll go from there. Yeah, it was good. Uh, I thought, thought we played a good team basketball game. You know, we've been pressing a little bit from... Uh, you know, everyone trying really hard and, and kind of, you know, trying to do it a little bit individually. And and uh, I thought today they just focused on making extra plays for, for one another and, and doing it as a team. And it always starts on the defensive end for us, but uh, uh, it was good to see us kind of get on groove on offense. Yeah, Coach, it seemed like for the first time in a little while, your guys were able just to get out there and enjoy the game, play and have fun. Can yeah. you talk about seeing them, letting their hair down, and having a good time. Yeah, you know, you get to, you get to a point where um, you know you watch the film, and we've had so many of these games where we're kind of close, but we just can't put that ball in the bucket. And uh, you know, you finally get to the point where it's like, okay, let's relax, let's just play. And uh, I thought that was kind of our mentality today. We just like, you know, let's just get back to, you know, make the extra and trust one another and, and make three, four, five, six, seven passes on a possession and see what happens. And, and I think that result was uh, indicative of that. What was the mood after J.K.'s dunking towards that day? Oh, you know, he's, he's so entertaining with his athleticism. I mean, everyone gets excited with that. And, and uh, you know, but it, it, it was good. We got guys in the game that haven't seen the floor in a little bit. And, and uh, you know, they played hard. And, and it, was, it was good to get all those guys some time. Yeah, Coach, the Andre, uh, Dwayne, Cameron, they're kind of the foundation of this program when you first got here, the first three transfers you signed. Now they're all playing their last game here. How does that feel for you? Yeah, you know, it, it, we, had a, we had a big, big task at, at hand, and it took a lot of faith uh, from those guys just to, to see the vision of what we're trying to do as opposed to, you know, maybe maybe the, the success that we were experiencing, you know, you know currently. And, and uh, that's a big leap of faith for anybody. And so, you know, our, uh, uh, you know, deepest gratitude for those guys making the decision to come here, be a part of our community, and, and then be active uh, par participants in, in, in wanting to be here and making it, making it uh, you know, cool to be a, a T-Bird again. Talking about Dwayne specifically, you've been around him for so long. What is it like to see him move on? Yeah, you know, six years and, and knowing him in high school for, for two, three more, you know, it's been a, a, a fun, you know, time watching him evolve uh, you know he's, he's going to leave here with a master's degree he's got a son and, and uh, you know he's got some quality aspirations in life so kind of see his maturation processes uh, this is you know this close has been been really rewarding and, and really proud of him yeah coach what do you expect to see from these guys off the court after basketball's all over yeah they're going to be very successful I mean you, you they, they you know the great thing about athletes and, and, and guys that kind of come through our program. You know that they're, they're they're very intellectual, very smart. They understand team. Uh, this is a very close knit team. They understand uh, sacrifice and, and, and for one another, um, handling adversity. You know that's what, you know some of these like these lessons that you get through these games. You know the stuff that you can control with your attitude and effort. Um, those guys that embody those type of things. That's why. You see, even in these games, we're dropping. I mean, they're absolutely drenched and diving on the floor. I mean, it's not for a lack of effort. These guys, and their attitude's phenomenal. You know, and that's going to take them a long way. Um, obviously, you've taught them a lot. Uh, what have you learned from them over the season? Uh, you know, I, I think um, it, it, it just uh, the the fact that you know, you just you just keep staying together, and you listen to one another. You know, and and you hear them out, and you and you. You, uh, and these guys are very intelligent guys, um, you know. And I think you can you can learn a lot by by hearing what they see and, and, and feel and hear out there, and, and uh, what their ideas for team and things that we need to do. And and, and, and th these guys have, have are, are very are very smart individuals that, that can uh, point things out, and and we've been we've been fortunate for that. Perfect. Thank you.